I've been the head of an organization called Amnesty International, uh, whose whole purpose is to give students very practical ways, not only to do something particular about someone whose life is in danger, someone who's been imprisoned unjustly, uh, a, an issue that can affect millions of people's well-being, but to do it effectively, uh, to organize, show them how to organize their congressmen, show them how to organize petitions, show them how to reach out to the community and get attention uh, for an issue. And we know from experience uh, that that can make the difference between somebody living or dying, somebody being tortured or not tortured, somebody being free or not free, uh, somebody getting the kind of health care they need. It can make a real difference in our world. We right now have a battle going on about whether we're going to have a government uh, that really can meet people's needs that really sees itself as meeting its responsibilities both globally and domestically for human rights, or whether we're going to shrink government down to the point where people have no choice but to be on their own and throw under the bus uh, millions and millions of people already living in poverty, others who are about to fall into poverty. What kind of country do we want? That's the question. Do we want a country where human rights really mean something to every human being, or do we want a country in which you're on your own, what happens to you is nobody's business, uh, and uh, you better hope uh, that you have good luck.